Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna to be making these candy charms. They are candy box key chain charms. I know, it's such a mouthful, but basically you can put them on anything. We're gonna put um, a little hole in there so you can stick your um, key chain in there. You can put it on backpack. We're actually gonna put it on a gift today, but they're just super cute. There are these charms that you would maybe put in slime. Uh, they're resin charms and they're super, they're just so stinking cute. I've made so many of these. Um, so you can kind of see what they look like. They make noise. Um, anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And we're gonna get started. All right, so I learned, I saw this from Samantha from Koi Koi Crafting and it was so cute I had to start making it. I didn't have all the things that she has um, so I improvised and I also think that between tomorrow she's guest spotting on my YouTube channel so you can see how she does it with her materials but I think between hers and mine that you can adapt as well and find what you have in your art room and make it. <laughs> so okay I'm using acetate, acetate sheet acetate sheets <laughs> and she uses vinyl sheets my vinyl is still on order um the vinyl that she uses it's so funny it's like those from the 70s the tablecloth covers like the thick vinyl whenever i hear vinyl i think of adhesive vinyl but this is just regular vinyl um like furniture cover tablecloth covers um okay so i'm gonna use this i'm using super tape super tape is awesome for this project so what we're gonna do is you want to just start your roll and you're gonna line it up at the edge so i'm gonna put it all the way to the edge and go from end to end and then we're just gonna trim it with our scissors So anything that is tape um, has a sticky side to it. They call it pressure, pressure vinyl, um, pressure adhesive. So basically what that means is you should be applying pressure and I'm gonna use something thinner. I'm gonna use this. And you wanna make sure like with any adhesive pressure vinyl, pressure adhesive, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It's hump day Wednesday, right? Um, you want to apply pressure. Applying the pressure sort of like activates the stickiness and it anchors itself to all, um, all areas that it's available. So you want to make sure that this sticks to everything possible. And so we're just going to apply a lot of pressure. And this applies to like the adhesive vinyl that you put on your tumblers. Any kind of sticker you wanna make sure that you're applying the pressure. That is the main ingredient. The second thing that you wanna do is you wanna let it cure. Um, in this case, that's not gonna be a problem because we're not washing anything, but if you were making a personalized tumbler, for example, you would wanna make sure that you apply the, the vinyl and then you let it sit for a couple days without washing it. So here I'm pulling it off, so it's double-sided tape, and we're just gonna curl it over before we do that though, let's just wipe the inside because this is gonna be our last chance to make sure that our acetate is nice and clean <laughs> without our um, oily fingers and whatever else. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it up like this and we're just going to apply it. And try to line it up, it's not a big deal, don't worry about it. So there I've lined it up, I wanna add apply pressure so I'm gonna stick my fingers in just along the strip and really press down on it okay so now that I feel good about that I'm gonna bring out my impulse sealer this impulse sealer I think for normal people which I'm not considering myself normal <laughs> is so that you can reseal plastic bags like think of a big Doritos bag. When you eat it, you're done. You're gonna put it down here, push this down, and it will reheat it and give you a new seal. So you can use this in the kitchen. This is on my Amazon shop. I absolutely love it. I've done, I've used it for my bookmark shakers and now this project. And then also the other day, I literally took down my uh, chip bags and resealed them. So <laughs> multi-purpose. Okay, 
So here is the, the line of tape is down the middle. So I want to keep it in the middle and I'm going to kind of like press it down a little bit so you can kind of see um, and I'm going to stick it in here. So some of it's going to come out on the other side so that I can make sure that uh, there's room and also it's even. So it's easier to see it when it's coming out on the other side. And now I'm going to press down for about three seconds, okay? So one, two, three. I'm going to lift up. And you can see it sealed it in. So we're going to cut this part off, but it just gives us room. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the side for a second. And now we're going to fill our little keychain. So our birthday boy is in love with dinosaurs. So I'm sticking dinosaurs in. We did buy him a dinosaur gift. Um, it's gray and orange. So I'm going to stick to that theme and I'm going to add some fun like sequins and and some like things to make noise against the acetate paper. So just a little bit. I know this is going to depend on you know how much you like um i you know i tend to be excessive <laughs> so i you know sometimes i overdo it so um i'm gonna put just a little bit more blue in there so you can see i'm adding and then i'm gonna add one more thing to make noise this one's my favorite because it's clear it's from michael's and it is let me see it's the recollection specialty glitter you can hear it, they're small little beads. So it's nice because it doesn't um, look so busy. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit. But they make noise and you can barely see them. Okay, so I think this is pretty cute. Okay, so I'm now, instead of folding it flat this way to make a rectangle, and let me show you what that looks like. I've done it. So this one is a rectangular piece it also has glycerin in here so that it can kind of like move around that one's coming all right instead of doing it this way i'm gonna fold it this way okay so that we get that triangular candy box so same thing i'm gonna put it in here hold on okay i'm gonna put it in and then push down one two three and now we have it completely enclosed. Super cute, right? I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay. Ooh, I saw this piece and I couldn't tell if it was, if there was leakage, but no, definitely no leakage. Okay, so now to make this look really cute, um, and let me give you back the original. I used washi tape here. I used the shears to get like that little um, triangular cut. And just to make it look, you know, really, really cute. So, all right, I am gonna grab this blue, bluish tape, washi tape, and just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere, I am gonna add a little bit of my hot glue gun. So I'm gonna line this up with my heated edge. So there's that, you know, um, from adding heat, it melted the plastic. So I'm gonna use that line and I'm gonna go. So it's nice when you when you go in and you give yourself excess trim. We're gonna just trim this off, but it's easier to trim than it is to work with something that is a little bit short. Okay, so on here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. And add a little bit of glue on this side. And then I'm gonna trim this off. On this side, I am gonna add quite a bit of glue to make sure that it stays down. So I don't want this to pop up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Let's see, let's see how far this goes in. Okay, so it goes in a little bit past the middle right there. So I'm gonna add glue onto here. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab my shears, my pinking shears, and I'm gonna cut it into the washi tape because I don't want any of this open here, so. I mean, it looks so cute, right? Okay, so. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I don't want to keep this open So I'm actually going to put glue on the inside and then press it here It is going to be really really hot. So just make sure you know because it's plastic, right? So you do have the washi tape to help you with the heat and if you're not used to it, I would have some sort of You know like those gloves or something like that, but I'm just gonna hold it like this My fingers are used to it all right, we're gonna do the same thing to this side, okay? So. Put a little bit of glue here just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. going all the way around and then I'm going to give myself I'm going to cut off some right here and go all the way around all right so again I'm going to measure to see how where my glue is going to go and it's going to go all the way to about here so I'm going to add the glue trim and I'm going to add glue on the inside it just needs a few seconds of holding it down and then it'll stick okay now so you can see our seal right here it's pretty straight I don't think it's going to pop open and then we crimped it right here so it's a good seal here and it's a good seal here we also have the hot glue gun so there's nothing popping out of this I feel really secure that this is going to stay in here okay so now I've got my little oops not this one sorry I know I'm using a lot of tools right um, this is the crocodile. I like it. It's going to make sure that when we put our keychain on there that it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to ruin our project. So the first thing is I'm going to cut a 3 16th hole. So I'm going to move this lever all the way down. So this thing is, I mean, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to flip this over. And do you see that the, the hole coming down? That's where the, it's going to puncture through and cut a hole for us. So I'm gonna put this down and let's see where I'm gonna put that. Put it right around there. I want this hole obviously to not be in the area where the shaker is, right? So the hole is right, kind of centered between this tab right here. And then now we're going to add a little eyelet or grommet. So I'm picking out this. Now we're gonna flip this over to the actual grommet. So where that goes is right here. Now this is gonna come down. It's gonna puncture this and give me a really good, oops, let me pull out the washi tape. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna line it up and sometimes it's, Hard to see while we're on camera. All right. I'm gonna, let's see, put that down. Whoa, hold on, that popped out. So you wanna make sure this is all the way in. I'm gonna line it up with this guy right here. Okay. Push down 
and now you have a nice little hole and see it's covered here so nothing's going to rip out on you it's strong we can put the keychain in there and i will show you what that looks like so this is actually one of those um, binder clips I like these because it's just easier to use so I'll put that in here and then wrap like ribbon around it and put this on a gift but pretty easy right and look how stinking cute it is I think this I mean I want to put this here like on these little bobbles because there's like a little hole right there I think this is I don't know I'm seeing lots of party favors and stuff they're so so cute all right um tomorrow catch samantha's so that you can see how she does it i do have my vinyl um on order so hopefully when i get it we'll be doing more more projects and more ideas on this but i just think it's so cute um all right comments questions let me know if you want a guest spot let me know as well just send me an email at info at the useless all right bye guys as soon as I can turn this off. <laughs> All right, have a great day.